So on the top floor of the multi-story car park at the marina on a Sunday morning is a massive car park sale, which is where we've come to this morning. I've completely forgotten about it, but I had, I had read up about it, so here we are. There's a, a stall giving away books, so I've just got a couple of books about art um, for my son. But he's still having a mooch around trying to see what books he wants. Well, the weather has turned distinctly nasty again. It's an excuse to come back to the vans and relax. It's our last day. It's my mum's birthday. She popped over first thing this morning so that we could give her presents and cards. We went over to the market, the car boot, which was very interesting. Got quite a few books from there. Um, saw some nice bits actually but nothing that grabbed me enough to want to bring it home um but the weather weather has really turned nasty it's very windy it's got a bit cold and well as you can see it's wet and this rain is is it's fine but it's soaking rain so no walking around for us today nice cup of tea and I'm going to set to see if I can draw one of these rabbits. Because I keep seeing these rabbits and they're beautiful and I want to draw one as a memory for Bryson. So nothing quite worked out to plan today. <laughs> Shush. I'd reserved the parking, four hours worth of parking at Brighton Marina this morning, which was what I should have done yesterday, um, to do what we'd planned yesterday, which is to walk along the seafront and then go and look at the Royal Pavilion and things like that. But having got there, we discovered the uh, car boot sale, which is worth a look around. Um, but as we got there, the weather was so miserable that everyone was starting to pack away and we just thought none of us want to walk along the seafront in this weather. So we came back within an hour. And um, well, we did have a lovely restful day. Um, you know, I love getting lost in my drawings and stuff. And then uh, on site, Chef Philippe, um, we'd seen these signs for wood-fired pizzas and the menu looked gorgeous especially the vegetarian options for me 
uh, looked really nice. So we thought to ourselves, right, okay, tonight for mum's birthday, we'll have one of Chef Felipe's pizzas so that we don't have to cook. Yeah. It was closed. It's, it's never been open when we've expected it to be open. Um, I don't know what the opening hours are because they're not as advertised, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, so then we were kind of like, well, we can't have the bad barbecue that we were going to have um, because the weather's too crummy. Um, we can't have pizza. Um, none of us really fancy cooking. So we ended up going down to the marina and getting a McDonald's. <laughs> bringing it back here and then all eating actually which turned out to be lovely um, since they do their plant burger meals I'm a bit happier about McDonald's I didn't used to be because their vegetarian options used to be absolute rubbish a bit better now with the McPlant um, but yeah it's just whichever way we turned today didn't quite work out as we wanted and it would have been glorious had the weather been good today but it, it just wasn't on our side um, but as for this campsite I've loved it it is a beautiful campsite everything about it is lovely I even like the fact that it's so multicultural there's a lot of German French um, Dutch uh, leisure vehicles around and that's just am amazing to sit here and listen to French and German and, and Dutch languages all around you you feel like you're abroad in your own country that's great that's really is great and it's been so peaceful apart from the one night with the football match so that, again that wasn't unpleasant that was just what's going on i could hear something and the rabbits everywhere the seagulls delicious stealing food mm. not our food um but yeah we, we've really liked it here so i will come back to this this place it's, it's a lovely campsite if you're visiting brighton or, or anywhere in East Sussex really. Um, it's a great base to be, be um, and I can certainly see why it's so popular. It's just lovely, isn't it? Yes, it is, thanks. So we go home tomorrow. This is our seventh and final night. It is, yes. But we have loved it here. We've had my parents' wedding anniversary and my mum's birthday here, so this is a lovely week to be away. <sighs> but I'm looking forward to the next one already when we head down to Minehead in Somerset in a few weeks. We are, I know, I haven't been to Minehead since I was about five. <laughs> five! When I was five we went to Minehead at uh, Butlins all those many, many years ago. Over 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. Until 45. I said over 40 years ago. Yeah. You know how old I am. 48. How old are you? 45. Sleep now. <laughs> so that would be nice to go there. And uh, I won't remember anything from when I was five. Who? Uh, but we haven't done Somerset yet as a family, so that would be good. Oh, I am. I know. I know. You know we're going home tomorrow. Yes. Amber has very much appreciated the, the doggy pit stop area to be able to free Ram and Pooh. It's the only place you can poo. <laughs> Isn't it? You're a shy pooer. And as for Danny, he can poo anywhere, everywhere with no issues at least six times a day aren't you yes oh, yes we shall see you in the morning good morning it's a miserable mucky morning which is not great when you're packing up to go but we thought the first thing we'd do is because our toilet is is absolutely full we did have to use the facilities block this morning because we couldn't bear to put another wee in there. Um, so we're going to go and take it to the cassette cleaning machine and see how that works. Just because I'm really fascinated. Oh God, this is so cool. <laughs> so, we've got to put in three pounds. One, two, just do one, really. Three pounds and one. 
Right, one, two, three. Two, three. Number two, select the cassette type. I guess allowance is that one. Is that one? C twenty. C two fifty. Oh, right. Okay. But it's this one anyway. I don't know what's, uh, the three. Thing. Press start. Where's the start? Start. Right. Four. You've got to take the knob off. Twist the knob. Do you keep that on or not? Well, it looks like it. Or is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's well, just... it didn't say not to do that, did it? Oh, twist the knob. Oh, God, it's so full. <sighs> Which way around does it go in? Yeah, that way. Right, put it in there. <sighs> Six, press the start button. Yeah. I can't see how that's going to work. No, neither can I. <coughs> Let's hope it does for three quid. Doesn't smell that nice. No, I'm not smelling. I wonder what's the biggest out of all the Is it clean? Is it clean? Well, it's empty. I wouldn't say it was particularly clean. Yeah, no. No. Uh, no, I'm still going to have to clean that. That's the solution in there, isn't it? No, it's, it's monkey. that again <laughs> yeah I knew machines couldn't clean cassettes are you done yeah well that's it we're on our way home and we'll definitely be back here I love Brighton and that campsite was lovely but I just won't use that um, cassette wash again yeah waste of three pounds that although it did make cleaning it afterwards easier <laughs> anyway from us Thanks for watching, love you lots and we'll see you on the next one.